If you can somehow manage to melt this giant ice cube, you will learn scripting. Let me explain. Sitting at negative 30 degrees Celsius, we have this giant super cold ice cube. Now every day that you practice scripting, a flamethrower will magically spawn and you're allowed to come close to the ice cube with it and raise the temperature by one degree Celsius. If you miss a single day, this ice cube has magical powers and it will lower its own temperature by one degree Celsius. And if you can get this ice cube to melt, that is to get this number to zero degrees Celsius, you win and you will learn scripting. This is Larry the Lemon and he's going to be learning scripting. Let's see if Larry can melt this giant ice cube. Oh boy, I just saw scripting create this awesome explosion and I'm going to try to learn scripting now. Okay, okay, I guess I'll watch this video on instincts on you. I'll try to make it work myself. Oh yeah, I got a plug in workspace, man, let's go! Okay, Larry, you get to come close to the ice cube with a flamethrower. Oh, really? That's sick! Alright, alright. Now, how do I turn this thing on and Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay, well, uh, I don't really see anything happening. Hmm, Larry, why don't you try again tomorrow? Okie dokie, on a chokey. Well, yesterday I had to make a plan workspace, that's pretty cool. Today, I'm gonna try to make it into a ball. Oh, okay, I got it to work. You did it! Now go get the flamethrower. Yes, sir! Hmm, Larry, why don't you try again tomorrow? Yes, sir. Today, I'll try to get the parts color to change. What? 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 What's wrong with my code? Oh, my dumb code won't work. But wait, all I gotta do is melt the dumb ice cube. Once it's been melting, I'll have learned scripting. All my friends will be so impressed, and I'll make lots of money, and get so much friends. Wait, since I scripted, do I still get to use the flamethrower? Take that, you dumb ice cube! Come on, just melt already. What kind of flamethrower resistance ice cube is this? I just need you to melt so I can learn the dumb scripting already. Ah, oh, I couldn't get the color to change. Maybe scripting is it for me. That dumb ice cube isn't even melting. So by now, hopefully you guys can see Larry's frustration. He tried scripting and it doesn't appear to be working for him. Also, the ice cube just isn't melting, no matter how many times he tries to melt it. I'll try one more time to melt this dang cube. Scripting doesn't work for me. Larry, try not to be so sour about this. You are already making progress towards your goal of being able to script the explosion. You probably just haven't realized it yet. Here, look at the explosion again. That's the spirit, Larry. And Larry repeated this process for 10 more days. Every single time he was unmotivated, he looked at the explosion that I scripted. It was working well and unnoticed by Larry, the ice cube temperature went from negative 29 degrees to negative 19 degrees during those 10 days. Larry tried again on day 16. And... Okay, okay, now time to use the flamethrower and melt this cube! Take this! Come on, not even a drop of water? Are you serious? I quit! And for the next five days, Larry did not script. And the ice cube went from negative 18 degrees to negative 23 degrees. Larry, 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 I guess you still haven't seen the point, eh? What, what, what do you mean? I showed up and I kind of learned from so many days, it just didn't get to work! Well, yeah, that's because you found more happiness in thinking about the result than the process. <laughs> Try again. Instead, this time I want you to think of yourself as a scripter. Thinking about the explosion or the money you could make will only get you so far. You have to start thinking about yourself as a scripter and try to enjoy the process of scripting. If you're always thinking about melting the ice cube and you don't see it melting, it will be very hard to continue. 
But if you think of yourself as an actual scripter and don't even worry about melting the ice cube, just learn to enjoy the actual scripting process, I'm sure that ice cube will eventually melt. Now, I must exit this world as I've given you a little bit too much divine intervention. So I'll see you later. Wait, 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 wait. hold your horses. No, I need your help. Don't try to be a scripter, be a scripter. Okay, I will learn to enjoy the process of scripter. Starting now? Who cares about the ice cube anyway? I'm a scripter. Let's try again. I always wanted to create that explosion. Instead of procrastinating and watching tutorials like Bob, I'll learn what I have to do to script an explosion. Oh wow, so much time has passed by. I made so much progress in scripting that explosion today. I completely forgot about the tube. Guess I'll blaze it. Alrighty, can't wait for tomorrow where I'll try making the explosion grow a bit. And for the next 21 days, Larry created explosion after explosion. Hey Larry! What is the meaning of this? Ha <laughs> ha, I guess you'll never understand, huh? The ice cube melted and you learned to script. No! It wasn't ever a cube! That's right, it wasn't, but it melted and you learned to script. Ha ha ha, let me explain. It was never about the cube in the first place. It was about learning to enjoy the process so that you don't get frustrated and quit easily. When most people are learning to script, they encounter issues and they quit really fast. It takes a lot of sustained effort to actually learn scripting. The ice cube could have been melted in 30 days flat, but you had some issues staying consistent, and that's okay. At the end, you realize that you had to become a scripter in your mind long before you actually became one. You had to change your identity, and that's the only way you could stay consistent. So it's all about never giving up, learning to enjoy the process, and staying consist consistent, or however you say that, don't worry. You got it Larry, when I was 11 years old, in 5th grade, before I actually knew how to script, I realized that that was what I wanted more than anything else. And so, in my English journal, I would write random code. You know if statements and those ends that appear all the time in scripts? I didn't know what function and end and if meant but I would pretend that I was an actual scripter and I would write a whole bunch of code in my mind. You should have seen my journal. Half of the page was filled with indented ends. <laughs> so my advice to anyone watching this video is to think of yourself as a scripter and melt the ice cube by showing up every single day. You will be a scripter in no time. You got this. Remember to subscribe and like the video and thank you all for watching.